up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. As you can see, we have Frostbite over here chilling and we have Project Storm over here chilling. We took out both trucks. We finally got Frostbite put together enough to go enjoy it again. Got the E85 completely swapped over. We got the FRP tuning in it and we also got FRP tuning in Project Storm. So. We are pretty much dialed in. We just got to do a few more logs and both trucks are going to be absolutely ready to rip it. But man, I can tell you, big difference so far just driving the trucks around. They feel awesome. So we're out here at this awesome little place that I have where I'd like to take pictures at. We're going to get some video footage. Uh, we're going to go over a lot of the E85 stuff on Frostbite. Overall, just kind of hang out, get some cool pictures and some cool videos. So stay tuned. Here we go. guys we're gonna go over everything on frostbite with the e85 conversion um, as you guys seen in the previous videos we have I showed all the components that we purchased to do the e85 swap um, right here you can see is where I mounted the new snow multi fuel pump control module that's able to run three fuel pumps we're only running two um, but if we need to in the future it'll run a third pump if we need it so that's where we mounted that is right there in front of the battery and we also have obviously much bigger fuel injectors we have the thick 1200 cc injectors um, to be able to run the e85 fuel and then we have right here the brand new snow fuel regulator um, that we also purchased and that is what we're running to operate our fuel pressure. We're trying to keep it around 58 to 60 PSI roughly. And we are doing a return system. So we have an 8 AN line running up to the fuel regulator and it comes out the other end as an 8 AN and it runs all the way to the fuel rail on the passenger side rear corner. And then on the bottom of the regulator, we have a 6 AN line that runs all the way back to the fuel cell to return any extra fuel pretty straightforward under the hood as far as the e85 conversion goes didn't really change much else besides obviously adding all those components and fuel lines now we did completely remove the factory fuel line completely we removed all of it we removed the fuel tank and we have the fuel cell mounted in the bed And this one here, you can see that's our 6 AN return line. This one is our 8 AN feed line. And then this over here is just a breather slash vent line. Um, pretty straightforward. This is the Speedmaster 15 gallon fuel cell. And then for the fuel pump, we're running the Holly uh, twin 450 Walboro drop-in pump assembly. Uh, which fits very good in the Speedmaster fuel cell and pretty much is designed for any fuel cell on the market. It is designed to drop right into any fuel cell. Pretty straightforward. 
And for the time being, we actually put the tailgate back on frostbite. <laughs> And other than that, guys, like I said, not a whole lot's changed. Everything is still pretty much the same. All the interior is still in the truck. We still have all the carpet. Um, everything roughly. We did ditch the fuel tank, obviously, like I said. And uh, that's pretty much it for the, for the fuel system, guys. Other than that, it's just the, uh, the tuning from FRP on the e85 conversion he's doing a great job getting frostbite dialed in and uh, it's running great that's for sure project storm you guys haven't seen project storm over here in a while we haven't changed a whole lot on storm yet uh, biggest change was the tuning uh, this truck is tuned by flying ryan also and it is almost i would say about 98 percent dialed in uh, we did some logs the other day and AFR was looking really good and the truck was absolutely getting it absolutely getting it it's not a dog out of the hole anymore it will legitimately take off and go so we're really wanting to get the truck to the track and see what it'll do now uh, it definitely feels a whole lot faster and that's for sure and it's running good and strong so we're out here in this super super secluded area there's literally nobody out here except for us and trees right now so right now is a better time than never to hear a couple torque storm superchargers make some noise what do you think sounds good to me hell yeah let's hear some storm we're gonna fire this dude up let you guys hear the old torque storm on the bone stock 2012 ram 1500 four by four Ah, damn. Ah, damn. Keep all the pistons in it, baby. Keep the pistons in it. All right, let's hear a little bit of frostbite. Let me get my guy over here. He's got to be the cameraman for a minute. <laughs> 